Hello Scorpios! Happy holidays to all of you. Welcome to the channel. Let's gonna see what's gonna happen for the coming up weekend. Uh, we'll probably be going live Saturday, so make sure you click that like bell and the subscribe button so you'll get notification when I go live this weekend, okay? I will try to set up a reminder, but just put it on the calendar. It will probably be Saturday night, so hopefully um, my time and schedule will work with that. And I'm probably going to start doing some readings next week, so I will let you more know about that through um, some type of messaging on uh, YouTube, okay? So, <clears throat> let's go into a uh, reading. Um, I had this strong, really inner, inner connection today, driving home from work today, and I felt like I needed to go um, and kind of give you this reading regarding what's going on, and, and I really feel like I want to ask questions uh, more driven towards questioning, okay? So, we're going to see what's going on in your life here. And I bless the angels and the gods in the, in the universe to guide us in all of our strengths. And to put us in where we belong. Even if we don't agree with the situation, we don't like the situation, we don't like that person. But sometimes it's for the best. And it's also the universe is leading you to something better. And um, taking you out of situations that you don't belong in. So, kind of keep that in mind as we go through the reading, Okay. All right, Scorpios, so let's get into it. Don't forget to click that uh, look below for um, t-shirts or anything like that you'd like to buy, so check that out. All right, so angels, tell me what Scorpio needs to know regarding a person. Scorp show me two cards and make a connection through the reading. And show me another card, please. What is this energy here for Scorpio? All right, that one definitely wanted to come out. All right, so you have the let go to control issues, and you have the honeymoon card. Okay, let's see. Let me just make that connection here. All right, true love here. All right, Scorpio. True love, honeymoon. Um, letting go, go control issues. I do... This is about... You're still in some type of disbelief here. Um, the honeymoon card and letting go of control issues here. When I put those three, these three together here, this is a deep found love that you had or you got rid of, and it felt like you know the honeymoon card to me. I know what it means, but it's more with that control issue. There's this feeling that you're still reliving, um, ruminating about how much you truly loved this person in the past. Okay. But you're going to have to let go of that control issue because, you know, Scorpio, you can't just live in this this ruminating about this past person because that is a control issue that you can actually easily get rid of and just don't think about this person anymore. But I understand at the same time is true love that you have for this person. You went through a lot of things. You sacrificed. You gave your all, 150,000% to this person, and they, and you just wanted to live your whole life with this person as a villain um of a honeymoon you know you were always you felt like this was the person for you to be in love with but it didn't turn out that way right so but you're going to, have to let this go and the control issue is on you so that's what i have for that so this um just work on release don't be trying to ruminate as much that just brings it it makes it harder to release so we're going to look into your energies of you your finances Whatever comes out, and see what happens with that, okay? And your guidance to your life here. All right, first card it picked over ten of wands. Okay, um, there are ten of wands here. So yeah, you're still having these hard times in this situation where you didn't know, and that's what bothers you the most is that. This person, person put so much stuff on you, so many things, so many burdens, so many hardships on you, and they didn't need to do that. They just, they could have just easily walked away, right? What is the for the Ten of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising? What is this representing, please? Show me the two cards for Scorpio. Oh, third party here, right? My third card, show me, there we go. They brought me before. Four of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. 
And then on the bottom of the deck, you have three of pentacles again. And that's like a kind of like, um, sorry, this might be my job. Just one second. Uh, but I want you to um, think about this here. I'm just going to look at this part here. You know, this person really put you in a mess, didn't they, with a third party here and the four of pentacles. And you were, while you were working, trying to... Um, brought some per burdens to your life. You just felt like you almost lost a lot of financial things here. You know, um, it's a lot of mental stress that just, oh my gosh, it just blew your mind apart. It just, you don't, you know, you couldn't even phantom the idea. And you didn't see this coming, is the thing. You didn't see this coming to you, that this person that you truly loved, that you thought the world of, that you adored, would actually just do this to you. You just, it's like a disbelief, like, as I said, it's like a disbelief of feeling like this person put you in a situation, okay? So, they put you in a third party, okay? They put you in that third party, and they looked at you as someone who was stable and someone who was trying to keep it together, and they thought, here, you were not going to let them go. You just were not going to let them go, all right? So, this is what is going on with them. They thought they could have their cake and eat it too. They thought, you know, but you saw it, okay? This is your overall energy here. Um, and they brought you into a third party, and it's a Scorpio is not going to let me go, and I'm not going to let Scorpio go, okay? Again, it's the control issues of going on here. So then you have this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is about freedom. When I see this card with you, it's about this freedom and overall energy of peace that has brought this. Um, Yeah, they, they, it's just like this peaceful feeling that you're starting to be aware of that you didn't have. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck with this first section of the reading, um, the Three of Pentacles here, this person was working you. They were they were thinking, you know what, I'm going to take this as far as milk the cow and get the milk for free kind of thing. They were just going to hold on to you. They weren't going to tell you anything. They were going to juggle you with people. They are also going to keep you tied in a third-party situation. They were going to... They had this all master planned out, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles came on. You said, you know what? I want my happiness, my independent freedom, my independent happiness, my independence to do what I want to do. And they saw this, that you walked away from them. And you remember, you had some deep, true love. You went through 100,000, 50% with this person, and this is what they, they gave you back. They gave you absolutely nothing to hold on to. And so you just said, screw it. You know, I'm going to go do my independence, happiness, my freedom, and I know what I'm going to do. And then there's a strength card here. Strength card with that nine of pentacles. I'm going to put this under here. Sorry. Um, you just stood up for yourself, and you put your boundaries there. And you just kind of left the situation. And it hurt you, Scorpio. Oh, my gosh. This person didn't even know how much you loved them. They, did, they knew you loved them, but they just thought they could just work you. You know, sometimes I'd be with Scorpio, sometimes I'd be with another person, sometimes I was just, but I'm not never letting Scorpio go. Scorpio is too good to let go. All right. And this came out, Seven of Swords. But you said, I'm getting, I'm, I told you you're leaving, and you're like, I'm tired of being stabbed in the back. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm putting up my boundaries, and I'm getting out of Dodge. I'm getting out of here, you know. I'm tired of this person taking advantage of me and why I'm trying so hard and I'm being hurt. But you wanted some revenge here, okay? You did want some revenge. You did want to kind of go after this person and you probably cut them a new one, you know? Um, they they pulled between the cold and the heat, okay? They pulled out um, that energy from you, okay? So this is how you're feeling right now. You got away from this. You were hurt. You're pain, And you want to kind of attack this person back and defeat them back. But Scorpio, please don't do that, okay? You did give this. Most of you probably gave your this person um, a new rectum. <laughs> you probably cut them a new one. Um, but the Page of Pentacles is here. Hmm. Why is that here? For Page of Pentacles. Somebody... Okay, let's see here. Page of Pentacles, Angel Guys and Spears. What about the Page of Pentacles for Scorpio? Show me the cards for Scorpio, please. And their energy. But this, 
but you're overcoming a lot. But you're trying to put the love and energy back in yourself, and you have the full card in reverse. Um, you're in this energy where, Scorpio, that, yeah, you want to be left alone. <clears throat> yeah, you're like looking at this as the overall picture. Now, the Page of Pentacles is about making an offering. It could be a, a job. It could be, but I'm just telling you now that it's more your person. Um, they're not quite ready to offer that to you, but they're thinking about it. They're contemplating on it. The full card in reverse. They're like, I don't know yet um, to take a leap back with Scorpio or not, but they're holding on to you, and they're being alone. Okay, so... It does look like here that on their end here that they left this situation and they're they're thinking about what to do here. But they think you they know you don't want them back, but they want to make an offer. So they're not they're playing it kind of like in a situation where um, they're scared to make that move on you too soon. They need to take this step by step and to try to get you back. Put that out of the in here. But um, to get you back on that energy, okay? So let's see here for Scorpio. What else for Scorpio, Angel, Guys, and Spirit? So they are trying to think of, let me see the Hermit card. I'm nosy about the Hermit card. What's the Hermit card here? Please show me the answer for Hermit card for Scorpio. What is their person thinking and their current? Two of Cups, yeah. They don't want to offer that. They don't want nobody to take you away from them. They don't want you to get a new love. They don't want you being with someone. They don't want you. They want you to themselves. They, they're they very, like, it could be a very stubborn and selfish energy with them. They're just scared to kind of say, you know, come off really fast and say, Scorpio, I want you back. I miss you. I love you and all that kind of stuff. They know they can't do this to you because it's going to, it's going to make you run. They know you already ran away from them, okay? For Scorpio here, for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So we can see here that the, yeah, Ace of Wands. Scorpio, they can't forget the passion that you gave them. They just all about, they don't want nobody to have you. And all the reason is, is because of that passion you have. You know, you're the number one passionate person to give love and all this stuff. But again, they want to, they want to offer that pinnacle and they want to, um, but they they know they can't come at you too fast because if you do, you're going to cut them off again. Because this has been an ongoing cycle. This has been a... Page of Pentacles is some immature person that is like thinking, okay, I could just go back to Scorpio when I want to, but up here you, you're you just ran off, okay? You just ran off and, you know, you really wanted to hurt this person, but you ran off from this situation. You're not, you're just like, I'm tired, I'm done with this, but if you come near me, I'm going to cut you open, okay? And that's what they know down here, okay? They know that. But here's the Ace of Wands. They're after your energy here, your ideas, your, they're after your emotional support too. It's like they want you to change their, your, their, the reason they're coming in very slow right here is because they want to change your mind about them. They know if they come back to you acting like they did before or with this third party and all that kind of mess that they had you in. They, this is from the past here and it's still probably. But it looks like they're alone and they don't want no love from you to be in love with anyone. Because they know it's going to happen sooner or later. Okay. But the Ace of Wands here, they want you to change your mind. They want you to get to your... They just think you're brilliant when it comes to ideas and emotional support. They need your support too. And I see it more of an emotional, mental support. Now they... Just the funny thing is they've done all this mental stuff to you. Now they're thinking you should turn around and be there for them and when they need you. So that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of like this, you know, one-sided energy where, oh, you know, I was never there for Scorpio and I did all this to Scorpio and burdened Scorpio with all this mess. 
that I brought into their life or her, his or her life and but I want Scorpio back now how can I and they how can I get Scorpio back not to fall in love with somebody else because if Scorpio falls in love with someone else I'm never going to get her her or him back and you could be this be you being alone here there's the knight of swords you know now, so as they're going to come back to you, running back to you kind of quickly because they know that you're worth a lot um, and everybody likes you and everybody wants you. Hangman in reverse. <clears throat> but you had this spiritual allotment. It's like you came to your senses. <laughs> I'm just sorry, Scorpio, but you came to your senses here to say... I'm not going to be manipulated again. See, five of, five of Pentacles, you you walked away from this, uh, this situation. You're not, you know how this cycle is going to go. You already know where the Five of Pentacles is. Every time it happens, someone ends up walking away. This could be you or them. But you had this enlightenment here. Change of heart, change of mind. You're changing your mind here. And even though this Knight of Pentacles, you're like, I don't want you to come back. I walked away from this. Okay? They want you to change your, change your mind. But in your mindset, you're not, you're not wanting this back and you don't want this destruction anymore. You, you woke up to the spiritual lightning that this was all destruction on your life. All of it. But they did not let you go. But who cares what they want, right? <clears throat> They're just sitting there trying to figure out a way or manipulate you to get you back into this relationship that you like you walked away from because it was see there they are showing up as the emperor. Remember it's the control. Um they can't let they can't fathom the idea that you're gonna be with somebody else and now you don't want them. Two of Pentacles. See? And they have that third party up there. They were like, you know, this breakup, a controlling energy where they're like, which one do I do? Do I go back to Scorpio? Or should I look for somebody else? Should I get, how can I get Scorpio back if I do this? I mean, it's just, they're all up in their head wondering how to get you back into their spider web. So, this is what the next card leads into. Show me cards, two more cards. Not a ones, yes, they and knots. You have a lot, always have the knots. Amateur players coming in with their their way of thinking of like, oh Scorpio, who art thou, my Scorpio? Two of Pentacles connecting with the Knight of Wands. So what we see here, Scorpio, is that like I told you, they're entangled with you. They and they brought you into an entanglement too, with that third party energy up here. This is what th the part you can't get over is like. How dare you put me in a third party? But they're trying to comp you know, manipulate you again with the Nine of Wands. They're trying to ride in and try to be the hero, trying to bring in their passion, and, uh, cha oh, I changed, please take me back, Scorpio, not a swords that coming out of that energy where I want to just try to, and again, it's about that emotional support, how can I talk to Scorpio so I can feel better, they have actually forgotten about all the stuff they've done to you, they want you to kind of wipe the slate clean and start over with them, and then they do the same thing again, because there's a lot of cycle energy here. Alright, so Scorpio's energy. What is Scorpio's energy regarding this situation? Are they going? Are you going to allow Scorpio's... Are you going to allow this person to walk back in your life? <laughs> it's like, no. Five of Swords. I'm tired of this. This has gave me a headache. I have been stressed, traumatized. You name it, it's happened to you. And that's why you had all this emotional issues you were just traumatized and um you know depressed and everything else so you get three more cards for scorpio three more cards for scorpio 
What's this for the Scorpio? What's the energy? Will Scorpio take this person back? Will Scorpio take this person back? Will Scorpio take this person back? Yes or no? Okay. Ooh. The moon card. <laughs> the answer is no. You're like... Now, you could be dreaming about this in and out kind of state of mind. Like one day you want this person, one day you don't. But overall, you're like, I will be crazy and humiliated and dumb. I don't want to say the word stupid or dumb, or, but I would be so foolish. Let's, let's use that word. I would be so foolish to know what I have been through and what I have seen with my own eyes and my own ears and what I know. And I just can't turn around and say, um, oh, I forgot this. Let's forget this. It never happened. No, I don't think you're, this is no, you're not going to take this person back. Because you were put through illusions and now that illusions have came to light and you're realizing that this person, this is what this person is going to bring into you of lies and deception and, and manipulation. But you know this already. So this is why it traumatized you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that's why you had the Five of Swords energy, why you got depressed and upset because this person intentionally manipulated you with illusions. They put all this crap in your head to make you feel like they were your soulmate, the true love of your life. Now, you were truly loved, but this was all manipulation of your mind. And they put illusions on you. They put like a spell on you. Like, I don't mean in witchcraft, but I mean like a mental. You went into a mental illusion, like a magic trick done to your mind here. All right, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is why I say no, because you're not going to invest in this anymore with Ace of Pentacles and being in reverse. You're like, no, no thanks. I already know what this this is about. This person, I had to walk away from this. And Scorp when Scorpio has to walk away from something, or when you have to close that door on something, this is that's drastic. When I, Scorpio will forgive and forgive. Cross watchers, I hope you're listening. They forgive to the point they can't forgive anymore. And once they lose all that attraction or lose that energy where that person that you once thought was your true love, when that energy, when you start saying to yourself, you know what, I can't control this situation anymore. This person done this. It's not my fault. I'm not going to control it. I'm not going to be in this energy where I think I have to do all the work to get this person back. No, I don't even want this person back because I know what I'm going to get. I know Scorpio is going to... Because uh, you're standing strong here in your boundaries and you're about all about your happiness. You're all about doing what's best for you. And you know with this, this mess up here, this person can't bring it to you. This person can't offer you anything. What, have, what good did they do to you? Or for you? So you're in a 5 of 1's energy. All you do is fight. You can't explain anything to this person. You cannot explain anything. You have the Eight of Swords here too. In the reverse. Ugh, <sighs> oh, this is stressful. You know what you're going to get. Remember this, Scorpio, how the stuck energy you were in? You were looking in a mirror. Okay, I'm going to turn upside down so you can see better. You were looking at yourself in a mirror. And you need to remember all the crap they did to you. You see all those birds? How they were manipulating you around your mind, blinding you with the with lies and deception, and they kept you into a relationship that you knew well with the red flags you should have gotten out. Right? Sorry if I sound brutal, but it's the truth. But because it came in the reverse, this is you now. You're seeing yourself as who you used to be. You're not this person anymore tied up in and letting this person do whatever they want to to your mind and mental state. Now you know you got to be mentally healthy. Now you know you got to be strong. Now you know you have to walk away from this because this was unhealthy. Um, this is mentally abuse. Yes, it was mental abuse. Okay, let me get one more. Then we're going to look. Okay, the Scorpio. This is mental warping. They sucked your energy here. They kept you in a relationship that you... 
that you thought was true love and it wasn't. But you can't control this anymore, Scorpio. You are free with that nine of pentacles up there. You're free to do whatever you want, to enjoy your life, and you're out of that mess, okay? You're no longer stuck. You're no longer tied to this person anymore. So make sure you get out of that. If you are in abuse of mental abuse, hurt, damage mentally, because this person puts you in a third party, you need to get out of that situation. You know this person is not good for you. It's the worst probably relationship you ever had, especially if you were married to one of these creatures. You deserve better. There's your ten of pentacles in the reverse again. No, you're not committing to this anymore. You're not going to grow this. Okay, this is your thing right here. This is, if you're going to be any, anything, you're going to be in the Ten of Cups. You're going to be the, imp, the Empress. That's who you're going to go. This is what you're looking for. This is what you got it. You're going toward in your life to grow, to get better, to find love, find end up your own happiness and love, and loving yourself, to being, becoming the Empress. Putting all that those ten of cups back into you, Scorpio. That's your final words right here I have for you. You don't need, um, you know, the manifesting cards, the third one, but <clears throat> this is your final words here. You need to grow yourself. Get better. Love yourself. Put all the ten of cups. This is, you need to come back to being an empress, the loving, great, passionate person that you are. And then when you heal and you get past all these things, um, and get the energy is just going to vibrate off of you. You're going to have this wild, like, I, I miss being the old me. I miss being free. I miss being better. Now I'm feeling better. I got away from this energy that couldn't grow me. This It couldn't grow. You were stuck in the energy and that, that was not no commitment. This person was not committed to you. And even if you were married... They were often running around looking for somebody else. They thought the grass was going to be greener over there. Now they want you to come back because they're Scorpios. But now you got your boundaries up. You got, you're very strong now. And you're growing yourself, Scorpio. You're getting back and you're manifesting the best for you now. That's what you're doing. And this person knows it. Let me ask that question. That's what you're doing. I don't know what this fool over here is doing. But you deserve better in that mess. I'll take a new deck here. Tell me about Scorpio's current person. What is the person, Scorpio, that... What are they thinking? Oh, Lordy. They want to ten of cups with you. Told you. Oh, they think they're going to come back and run back to your life. Because now life sucks without you. Okay? That should be the name, name of my time. The cut light... You know that song from Kelly Clarkson, Since You've Been Gone? Yeah, you listen to that song. Kelly Clarkson, Since You've Been Gone. That's the song for you. Page of Pentacles. Oh, God. They're going to make that offer. I can't live without Scorpio. Scorpio was the best. I shouldn't have never done that to Scorpio. Well, boo-hoo, cry me a river. The biggest, the Pacific Ocean. You know? It's not your fault, Scorpio. They were dumb. This, this is a person was dumb, Scorpio. Okay, you can laugh if you want to, but you were dealing with a dumb person. Okay, somebody was just, hmm, gosh. Ten of Swords, you're no longer stuck in that Ten of Swords energy. They know you're not stuck with them. Eight of Cups in reverse. You know what they're thinking is, right now in the final, is that they will be the King of Cups, bring an offer. But Eight of Cups, how? They know they don't have your love. They lost you. But they don't want you to walk away here. No, 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 Scorpio, don't go. Don't leave my life. They're begging you. They're gonna be they're not they're gonna not beg you like that in that way. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but they're gonna they can't leave your life. I just want you to know in the com let me know in the comments. How many times has this person honestly has hoovered you back or tried to get back into your life? That went off with a third party, that left your life, had babies with somebody else. And now they want to, they come back, want to talk to you. They might block you with the King of Swords in reverse here. 
They blocked you. They gave you the silent treatment. They walked away. They disappeared. And now they're coming back because the King of Swords, they're letting their guard down. They're like, no, I need to be sweet with Scorpio. I need to be kind and loving Scorpio because I need to get Scorpio back. The King of Cups says. Yes, Scorpio. I feel like this has been a cycle that you have been through like many times. Five is very evident here. I mean, pretty much every number. Seven is very evident. Ten times. Looks like you've been through the cycle three, eight, seven, nine, ten. You've been on a cycle here. Two, some twos, but ten, ten is very evident here on the average. And eight, several times. Let's say it that way. You have been through this cycle several times with this person. Several. And they keep popping in out of your life and same, same BS, just a different day. Okay? So Scorpio, that's what I have for you um, on this beautiful Thursday. Hoping you were getting ready for the holidays. <clears throat> but Scorpio, you're very strong here. Live your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Live your life. Um, be happy, Scorpio. Find the peace inside of you. But you're you 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 got it going on right now. Okay. Leave and let me know in the comments what you're thinking. But I don't see no no way no way that you are thinking about any kind of. You remember the entrapment you had entanglement with this person. You were entangled. With some third parties over here. And had you in a mess. But you can't grow with this person. You know it. This person just going to come back. And suck your energies. Could be money. Could be uh, your emotional support. Emotional financial gain here is what they're after. Yeah. And all you do is fight with them. Because you can't. You just have these arguments with them. But you are looking, but you deserve happiness, Scorpio. Don't forget that. You deserve happiness with a magician and ten of cups. And independent, loving yourself, becoming that beautiful person. And I see you getting stronger and stronger. And you got your boundaries set. This person's like, I don't know what to say, Scorpio. Get her back or him back. Because if I go back and call Scorpio on the phone or email, they're going to, they're, they're just... Like I said, the thing I think they're dumb about is like, how many times you have to tell this person off? How many times have you went berserk and just had to go off on the deep end of the ledge to get rid of this person? You wanted to get rid of this person. You still loved them. You still love them, but you loved them from a long distance way. But you know this person walks back in your life. You know what's, what's going to happen. You're going to get the same chaos, the same disaster the same BS over and over until the next time. You won't never have no peace with this person. That's what you didn't have. You had zero peace. Because they brought so many ten of wands burdens to your life. And they know they did. So Scorpio, this is a reading. I hope that you liked it. I hope this resonated for you. Let me know in the comments how many times this person has actually came back. I just curiosity. Let me know in the comments. Say hi if you want. But thank you to all the beautiful people around the world, and I will talk to you soon. Love you, Scorpios. Take care. Bye-bye.